That's why this is called the neuroscience of leadership. Because how we think and how we focus impacts our performance. So I'm going to count from one to three. In your imagination, I want you to imagine that you're taking a lemon and biting it with me. One, two, three. How many of you, either just before I bit the lemon, at the very moment I bit the lemon, or slightly after I bit the lemon, had some kind of a, something happened. You either tasted or smelled or had a reaction to that. Raise your hand. Now put your hands up high. Now look around. Now think about what just happened. Because if you get this, you're going to flow with this program very easily. A stranger comes out here. You know nothing about me. I ask a group of 200 people to imagine something. Over 90% of you created a biochemical neurological change in your body with your mind with the imagination. That's like a miracle. If you had a magic wand and you could change one thing to become a better leader or a more effective individual in life, what would be the one thing you would change? What is unchangeable in terms of leadership? And there are three kinds of fear. And when you start to distinguish between kinds of fear, you're going to understand that most fear is just like the lemon. It's an illusion. But it's the conscious use of imagery and visualization that is a leadership trait. You go right past where you did the first time. You go right past where you did the second time. This time you go like, like 40, 50% further. So you can imagine doing that. See it. Feel it. Okay? Open your eyes. And at the count of three, point and go where you just imagined. One, two, three. Point and go where you just imagined. Good. How many of you went further? Excellent. 